Hello everybody, welcome to Whiskey Business. Today we're gonna be making a nice slow cooker meal. We are gonna be making pork carnitas with a slight twist. Uh, normally pork carnitas are done in a orange, lime, lemon juice in the crock pot. We're gonna kind of cheat a little bit and do a slight variation. Instead, I'm gonna be using some uh, salsa verde, some uh, diced chilies, and some uh, rotel, along with onions and garlic, and of course, the pork. Um, this is about two and a half pounds of pork. Uh, I had a very large five pound pork loin that I cut in half, used the other half for pork loin, and this part we're gonna make for carnitas. So we are going to cut off all this fat, and then we are going to sear it in a pan. And then we're gonna put all of that beautiful uh, seared pork with all of those cans and, and uh, salsa and onions into the crock pot, and that will cook for about five to eight hours, depending on the size, and it's gonna come out beautiful, and we're gonna have some lovely pork carnitas. So let's get going. And of course, I can't forget my whiskey. As you can see, I have <laughs> poured out the last of our Pure Kentucky. It's a small batch from the Willow Distillery, and it is very strong, very potent, very tasty. Okay, I have one large onion that I have chopped up and laid in the bottom of our crock pot. Uh, that way, it keeps the pork from touching the bottom, but also keeps it nice and juicy and moist and gives it flavor. I also had about half of a large red onion that I chopped up that we're gonna put on top of the pork. Not necessary, but also extra flavor. We have most of this fat taken off of our pork loin as much as we could without cutting into the pork. The rest of it will kind of uh, melt away. And then we have a very uh, hot cast iron that we're gonna sear this pork on all sides before we put it into our crock pot. Okay, we've got our pork seared on all sides. Anytime you have a large piece of meat that you're gonna cook in the crock pot, it's always a good idea to sear it first. You're gonna get so much more flavor out of it than just putting it in plain, unseared, unseasoned into your crock pot. So now we are going to cut a few slits into this and we're gonna put our garlic that you see here into the pork. That's That garlic oil is gonna infuse into that pork and make it even more tender, even more juicy, and even more flavorful. So we're just gonna poke a few little holes in here and take our garlic which we've slightly smashed open just to release those oils and we're gonna pop them into those holes. Okay, we have our pork on top of our onions. Those red onions on top you see there and the little bay leaf that's poking out here. Let me push them down in there further. We had a couple of bay leaves, some cilantro and a ton of spices. So use whatever spices you like. We used cumin, paprika, habanero, um, some chili peppers, a ton of stuff, as well as a little over half of the jar of the salsa verde and the entire can of the Rotel with green chilies. And I added just a few extra green chilies in it because like we like the spice. And the rest of all of that, I'm gonna save for some black beans I'm gonna make to go with this. Now we're gonna cover this. Do not open the lid, no matter how tempted you are. Uh, keep that lid closed. If you open it, you're gonna have to add more time to that. So let it do its magic and do its thing and cook that. We're probably gonna cook this for about six hours and then we're gonna shred it, add it back to the juices and enjoy some yummy carnitas. All right, it has been a little over five hours. You can see it bubbling nice there and it's cooked down quite a bit. We are gonna take this pork out and we're gonna shred it and then we're gonna put it back in those juices. So using two forks, we're just shredding the pork and as soon as this is all shredded up, we're just gonna put it back and all of this liquid and keep it on warm while our beans and soon to be rice start cooking. Okay, our rice and our beans are done. I just wanted to show you what it looked like. Um, not the rice and beans, obviously, but our pork shredded into all that juices. And just um, full disclosure, you know, like I said in the beginning, carnitas usually is with orange juice, lime juice, all of that. I didn't have any citrus other than lemons at the house. And because I tried it this different way, towards the end, I felt like it just needed a little bit of something to brighten it up. So I squeezed a whole lemon in there and left those rinds in this while that was staying warm while I was cooking everything else. And let me tell you, it just made all the difference. It was already good, but adding that little bit of citrus and the rinds in there just brought it up tremendously. So I would recommend doing that. Um, so we're just gonna serve these on some tortillas with our rice and beans, and we are good to go. 
And here we have our final product. As you can see, as always, I slightly overfilled my little tiny, teeny tortillas, but that's okay. We've got extra on the table to sop up all that extra goodness. And we've got our beans on top of our rice, and I am so excited for this. So let me know what you think. Like, comment, share, hit the little bell for notification for next time, and we will see you later.